Yo, what's up guys, this is Fox and welcome to my guide on my HUD layout. Uh, lots of people have been asking me to make a video about how my HUD is working and how to achieve a similar HUD or to just copy it. So yeah, I decided to take the time and make a video out of it. Um, beforehand, I want to say this does not require any mods, basically, from the basics that I will explain you. Yes, uh, I am using some mods to make the HUD a bit more clean, per se. But the things, the tricks I'm using are all in-game macros mostly and you will be able to use all of them without a problem normally. So let's get right into it. Um, what is the goal of my hut? That is that it's basically meant to be very clean and very neat to have an easy overview of what's going on in a fight. Uh, if you have been watching my stream you might notice that I have two different hut layouts. One, the one you're seeing right now which I'm using when I'm just doing random stuff and when I'm not raiding and then one way I'm going to raid, right? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain this one first. It's very simple. Basically, I have uh, two hot layouts. So I'm gonna go here to hot layout and I'm gonna show you. So two different hot layouts, right? Uh, I'm gonna give you time to just stop the video and you can copy them, them the placements of the certain tiles if you want to. Um, now, how do you change your hot layout this fast that's very simple too it's tied to macro right so we're gonna go to my macros and basically those two macros right <clears throat> one of the two macros allows you to switch to hot layout one the other macro allows you to switch to hot layout two so when i'm in my hot layout one which is my standard layout i will then press hot layout two which you can see here here on the right side you will see this macro right this is basically this one here. So if I execute it, I will swap into my rate HUD layout. Now, as you can see, my rate layout is really, really simple and has basically no information on it besides my hotbar and my minimap. And of course, here at the top, a small amount of things like limit break and food to refresh. Um, and of course, at the bottom, buffs and weaknesses, stuff like that. Um, and then when I'm done raiding or I want to change jobs or anything else, I will just click on this at the top here, which is HUD layout one. So I'm going to execute this here. And this allows me to swap really fast in between my two layouts that I have chosen, right? Um, so basically, again, two macros, which you have to put on the two HUD layouts. So if you're using HUD layout one, you then have a macro that allows you to switch to HUD layout two. You execute it, right? This is, you're going to go into this one. Just hot layout 2, you execute it, boom, you're back in this layout. And then hot layout 2 has a macro that allows me to switch back to hot layout 1. That's how simple it works, right? <clears throat> now, let's move on to a bit more gimmick stuff that I have in my hot layout, right? As you might have noticed, I have no huge lines or anything anywhere, right? Basically, just this here at the bottom or bottom right basically which allows you to have different categories of stuff going on which makes it very very easy to not have a cluttered uh, screen which I, is something i really dislike if there's like if i see like hot bars all across the screen and everything i just like <laughs> i personally really dislike it so i make sure to have a macro everywhere to make this really simple now you need to understand how this works basically right so if let's go for example let's take this one here which is uh allows me to choose my DPS rules. So this is this macro here. Hotbar display six, hotbar copy, Thormer torch four, share six, right? Um, if you go back to HUD layout, you will see that this is hotbar six, right? This is always hotbar six. Um, this is why I have the first command of the macro of all the macros is hotbar display six. It basically tells the game to display hotbar six, right? So basically, um, I am pressing a macro and the first command it puts in is to display hotbar 6 here, right? And then I tell the game to copy a hotbar from another job. This could be anything, right? Now, in order to uh, try out something, I'm going to just copy paste this macro here. I'm going to make a new one like this, right? Um, let's give it an icon. How do we, oh yeah, over here. So let's give this one a night. Let's give it this one, right? Um, we're gonna now make it, for example, we're gonna make this hotbar display display my machinist hotbar, right? So we're gonna go go ahead and change this into copy machinist one, right? And then execute this again, boom. Now it has this hotbar here. You see? It's basically how it works. You tell the game to copy a hotbar from a job you have, 
and then put it on there. What's also important is to put the share at the back, right? As you can see, all of them have the share, right? So again, to show you, I'm gonna go uh, switch to my Thorma Torch. Let me go do that really fast. I'm gonna go Black Mage, open here and remove this crystal, boom. And as you can see here already appear, appears my hot bar, which is my drop hot bar, which is this one, right? If I change this hot bar, this will change too, right? That's about it. So, Again, to show you guys, here's the hot layout, right? This is just one hot bar you need where you put the macros on, and this is hot bar six. You can, of course, use any hot bar you want. And I suggest to use hot bars of jobs that you don't play. So, Thormer Torch, um, and then like, what else? Like anything that has like, like for example here, we can remove the Dragoon drop stone, we go into Lancer, and nobody will play Lancer at its final drop, right? There's basically no one playing Lancer. See, my, my Lancer even has still old <laughs> old icons on it which are removed from the game right because I never played because uh, once you reach level 70 on most jobs you will not play those old without drop stone jobs basically anymore or classes or whatever they're called so I should just use one of those right and that's basically about it um, what I use the sides for is basically right I want to switch to all my DPS jobs then one to healers and tanks, then all my discipline of lands and discipline of, of hands. Um, then I have something here which is like mostly like neat stuff like a countdown, way marks, signs on people, you know. And this is a very important macro for me. This is a ready check macro which has a sound tied to it. Um, let me break all the attack which are kind of useless. I mean, you can put whatever you want here. The other two are just macros for spamming chat. I can't put them because there's no party members. <laughs> Um, then some emotes here because you know when that one guy is like just waving at you and you want to wave back really fast You just do this really fast. I think I think this is a really fast way to do it, right? There might be better ways, but I don't use lots of emotion em emotions in the game. Do you say emotions now? <laughs> uh, but you get my point and Then of course I have sprint on it and then something here Which is a sound settings because I like to change my sound settings a lot around I often change like my background music up and down depending on what rate I'm in This also helps to change your background music during the Hamo transition in UCOP Just putting it out there <laughs> And then just two mounts and that's about it, right? Um, now it is a question on how to hide your hotbars, right? If some people don't know um, For example, now I have a problem um, I don't have the macro on my Lancer, right, right, the Lancer, every job has different, like, layouts, how you do them, right, you are aware of that, that you're, if you don't share a hotbar, every job will have different hotbars, right, so my Lancer does not have a hot layout macro yet on it, so I have, I'm gonna switch back to a job that has that, um, now you will see that I have it here at the top, right, I always have a few things here, usually food and limit break and stuff like that, how to hide hotbars is very simple, you just basically have to this is one hot bar here, right? And if you click on it with your right mouse, you will see it go white or blue. Blue means hidden. Right, so you don't want to die open. This is how you hide them. Right. Um, then as you might also see is that I have different sizes in my hot bar, right? I personally have this bound to control plus N. You can change that setting in the macro, uh, in the keybind settings, of course, I mean. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, for example, there's all the information you need. Like, like I don't need to see anything of this when I'm raiding. I don't need that. And if I do need it, I can still just doing pulls in, in between pulls. I mean, just switch over, you know, and have it show up there. Um, like, I don't need any of that information. All I need is my hot bar and my mini map. Like, that's literally all I need. Um, and as you might have noticed, my hotbar has a split in the middle in most of my jobs. It's not in all jobs, it depends on how many buttons they have. For example, I know that, for example, my scholar has lots of buttons and I'm unable to have a split in the middle because there's just too many buttons for the job, right? I just personally really like a clean hot layout that has no whatsoever too many buttons or like overflows of screen or something, right? So this is basically how all my hot layouts look like on all jobs right you can you can check out all my jobs they are all very similar the way they're constructed they all have simple they basically all follow one rule which is that uh, my normal gcds are mostly on one two and stuff like that right if you go to bard you have heavy shot here which is like the only gcd we press right machine is of course all of the gcds here samurai has all the gcds here right uh, dragoon has the gcds all around here uh, Red Mage has GCDs here, right? And all GCDs are always on the right side, right? Because I have my keys bound to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here because it's easily reachable with my hand. I think with 6 it starts to get a bit 
tricky, right? Um, that's why I don't use six anymore. And then I'll start with Q, E, R, T, F, and G, right? Those are my keybinds I'm using. And as modifiers, I use Control and Alt. So this is Control, this is, for example, Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4, Alt 5. And then this is Control 1, Control 2, Control 3, Control 4, right? This is basically how I work with my hotbars. Um, now you may ask, how do you hide the numbers? How do you hide the numbers? I love people always ask me, how do you actually hide the numbers? Um, it's also very simple. Let's go to hotbars. And this is the secret right here. Like key setting one will be displayed. Key setting two, one. So if I put G, like if, let's put the G right here on Swiftcast, you see a G. Now, if I put it here, stupid game. I put it here, it disappears. It's not there anymore. I can do it for all of them. Right now, I'm just switching them over. You will see how the letters are disappearing on the hotbar. That's also adding just a bit of finesse to the whole clean hotbar layout that I'm using. Right, no letters on it. But I personally suggest to do that if you really know everything by heart on your hotbar. If you know everything by heart, this is this is easily doable. If you don't know everything, I wouldn't suggest doing it to be honest, because otherwise. Um, you'll get lost really fast on what buttons you have to press, right? So, yeah, I think I answered most of the questions regarding my hot layout. If you have more questions, feel free to ask me on my Discord or in the comments below. And, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, for tuning in, and I hope you had learned something today. <laughs> Cheers, my dudes.